my name's Claire. I'm the infant feeding lead here in Doncaster for the 0 to 5 health visiting service. Uh, we just wanted to do a short little video about hand expressing. So it's recommended by UNICEF Baby Friendly Initiative that all mums are to be shown how to hand express as this is a useful skill. It's useful in the way that it can tempt a sleeping baby to attach to the breast. It's also useful that if mums are feeling quite full uh, and that baby is finding it hard to attach to the breast, by hand expressing a little bit off could aid that attachment. Uh, it's also helpful if you feel that you've got a block duct or it's painful in a particular area of your breast. Um, also, if you are separated from your baby, this may be what staff are asking you to do to start your breastfeeding journey. So to start expressing, you need to be as relaxed as you possibly can be. So that's potentially cuddles with your baby, some skin to skin. Um, if your baby is on the neonatal unit, you could potentially have a piece of clothing or a photo of your baby. Um, so, with my little knitted breast here, um, to start, obviously you just need to sort of try to be as relaxed as possible and maybe do a bit of light massage and that helps with your hormones. Okay, so doing either a light rubbing or sort of gentle massage with the knuckles just around your breast uh, to start that uh, that let down process and then what we need to do is make a C with our thumb and forefinger and, uh, and what all you're doing is from your nipple is working your way back okay and we generally say about two to three centimeters some mums may be, be able to feel a texture change on, on your breast, but some mums can't. So we always say about two to three centimetres. And then what we're doing is we're compressing that thumb and forefinger together. So you're compressing or pinching that thumb and forefinger together in that action, obviously with your breast in the middle. Yeah, and you're compressing, holding and release. And what you should find is that you get little beads of milk um, on your nipple. If you are seeing that, then continue and that flow of, uh, of milk should come. If you feel that nothing's happening, what you may need to do is bring your fingers a little bit further forward or a little bit further back because you may not be on those milk ducts. And then continue, just compressing, hold, release, compressing, hold, release, until that starts to subside, okay? And then you would turn your fingers round and do exactly the same on the other milk ducts. What we're not doing is we're not dragging the skin, okay? So you're not pulling back and you're not pu pushing the skin forward because that sort of action can cause trauma to your breast and it can be quite painful. So all the action is, again, with your thumb and your forefinger is compress, hold, release. Compress, hold, release. Obviously doing it into a sterile container or a syringe or anything that uh, can capture your breast milk and then you can store that in the fridge, at the back of the fridge for up to five days or you can freeze that in the freezer for six months. If you are taking it to the neonatal unit, ask them for some supplies that they can give you to, to carry that uh, uh, back and forth to uh, to the unit. Also, you will need to mark your uh, uh, bottle or syringe with your name, date and time that you did the expressing. And that just makes it easier for them to then give to your baby. Um, I hope that you find this helpful 
and uh, any concerns or any further questions please ring our single point of contact number which is 01302 566 776. Thank you.